Hello there guys, my name is Aaron Chandler from Forever Rovers and it is a defeat. Now, we do have to take the positives. We still got four wins in a row. If, you, if you'd have said that we'd be fourth place, two points off the top, um, halfway through the season, I'd have snapped your hand off. But to be honest, today, I think the players should have got into the reds, right there, in the reds, that we were playing for top spot tonight. Because that second half was a disgrace. That second half was appalling. It's like we were playing in bloody backwards for 40 minutes. Um, at least I'm not Arsenal. Losing like 4-5-1 to Man City tonight so far. But, you know, by the by, we were the second half we were playing in reverse for about 30-40 minutes. It just wasn't good enough that second half. We had offered no attacking threat. We had absolutely no opportunities going forward the only reason we conceded was because Shrewsbury had a decent free kick that no one was marking slack marking the marking was like I'm just stood in the open in front of a sniper rifle gunman and I'm just standing in front of his little target thing going hello please shoot me we completely offered ourselves out no solid marking on the free kick whatsoever and Shrewsbury score but you just know that's what they were going to do. They did it against Hull. They did it against Lincoln. They go 1-0 up and they park the bus. And if we can't break a five at the back down, where's the plan B going to come from? Where is plan B? Because I tell you something now, it's not under the, uh, the files of promotion. It's not under this new scrapbook called promotion and it's filed under plans to succeed. Because... It's missing. It's extinct, like the dinosaurs. It's extinct, Plan B. As long as we find a Plan B for a five at the back, we'll be all right. First off, I, I swear to God, we could have scored three or four with how many chances we had. Fajiriok and Abiri was absolutely on fire tonight. But just the second half, complete lack in concentration for the free kick goal. And we could have given a couple of other chances away. Did we, was it like an alien invasion sci-fi film in the, in the halftime tunnel and we magically swapped bodies? Because in the first half, Shrewsbury were parking the bus defensively, hard to break down, but they didn't offer anything attacking and we did most of the attacking. Second half, it was like the opposite way around. So did we swap bodies in some alien invasion apocalypse sci-fi movie? I don't know. But you tell me. Lakilo, Jason Lakilo. I'm not going to lie to you, he was rubbish tonight. When he came on, absolutely rubbish. Um, John Jules, Fajiri, Taylor. I mean, you see the team you know, somewhere on your screen. Um, the way the free press showed the lineup in terms of how we looked, it looked like a 4-3-3 or like a 4-2-3-1. Uh, no, 4-3-2-1 with two inside forwards. I don't know if that was like an error or whatever. Uh, but I've set it out as the usual 4-2-3-1 uh, with Taylor one side, John Jules the other, Okunabiri up top. Fajiri Okunabiri is on fire tonight. But in my opinion, and I know he did great up front against Burton, I think he works best as a winger. I think he works best with his build-up play, with his effort, with his work rate, with his pace as a winger. And he's, he's a wide forward. I think he worked well as a wide forward. Put him on the wing next game, put John Jules up front, and you see what an attack can do. Um, Taylor Richards showed physicality today but again just like the rest of the team second half just fell apart um, Ben Whiteman was on the, one of the biggest disappointments for me tonight one of the biggest disappointments was our own bloody captain Ben Whiteman especially in the second half you look at what he's doing and just instead of the first half he's not giving forward passes he's um holding the ball for too long and then giving it up. I mean, there was a couple of interesting moments in the second half where I specifically watched what Whiteman did. There was one moment where he was holding on to the ball and it was like, duh, okay. And Shrewsbury just went, zoink, and took it off him. Like, he was just stood there, but literally stood there, ball at his feet. I think he was either looking straight or looking at the ball and going, duh, okay. And Shrewsbury went, zoink, and go. Just went on a counter-attack. They came to nothing, thank God. Um, then the second moment, I think he tried to pass it, and it's like he did like a swish foot, swish, swish, bish, Katy Perry would sing. But he did like a swish, swish, and there was no one to pass to, and Shrewsbury got it. What was Ben Whiteman doing in the second half tonight? I've no idea. 
Um, but overall, it was just... It was just piss poor. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be explicit. It was piss poor in the second half. Um, if there's any positives I can take, the first half performance, if you put goals on it, that's an entire 90 minutes in one half. An attacking performance over 90 minutes with a few goals in one half. That's what that was. But the second half was like, part the bus, no attacking threat, played in reverse. It was like Aaron Ramsey at Arsenal a few years ago when all he walks is sideways. When he passes the ball, it goes backwards. Not back heeling it. When he passes it forwards, the ball goes backwards. You know, it, it was like playing in reverse for 40 minutes. It was piss poor. And we don't have a plan B. And some people on Twitter said it. No Sims, no wins. That's untrue. Because we won against Burton without Josh Sims. But we need more attacking threat. We need to create more chances. We need to score more goals. Create more chances, to be fair. We, we created a lot in the first half. But we didn't put them away. Seven shots, none on target in the first half. That just shows you how impressive we were when they had one shot not on target. And we had like 63, 64 possession in the second, in the first half. It just showed you how wonderful we were in the first half. But the second half, again, it was piss poor. I don't even want to give you my player ratings until tomorrow for the news report, for the daily reports, um, for the reaction from the game. Because it'd be interesting to see what Darren Moore says in the press conference. You know, Is he going to say the right things? Is he going to defend some of the players? What's he going to do in the press conference? I've no idea. But second half... We can't be having that against the five at the back. Next time we play Shrewsbury, break them down. Do not come into your shell. Break out. You know, this isn't this isn't the Teenage Mutant Ninja, Ninja Turtles, the depressed edition. We're not staying in our shell. We're getting our ninchucks and we're slashing people out. We're slashing the enemy. We're killing Shredder. You know, we don't want to stay in our shell. And we don't need to do that. We did that in the second half. We don't need to do that. So, my advice to the team for the next game would be stay out of your shell, go for it, keep attacking, do what we did in the first half tonight, and you will get goals. You will 100% get goals. We got Accrington on Saturday, perfect time to practice our attack because they are one of the biggest um, underdogs in this league this season, along with the likes of Crew Alexander and Blackpool. They're one of the top three underdogs for me this season. Crew, Blackpool, and Accrington. Crew beat us. We narrowly escaped with a win against Blackpool. We need to beat Accrington to get back on the run. Obviously, people will go, well, it's not the biggest defeat in the world because we're still two points off the top. This was the perfect time to have a good Christmas. This would have been the perfect roundup for Christmas, for Christmas Day even. We would have been singing, Merry Christmas, everyone, at the top of the league. But we're not. We're two points off still. And... It, we've got to do it ourselves, but we can't just rely on other results. We've got to put in the performances on a consistent basis. This is what I was talking about at the beginning of the season, about consistency. It can't just be two wins, two losses, two draws, two wins, two losses, two draws, two losses, two wins, two draws, two wins, two losses, two draws. It can't be a... It can't come in two by twos. We've won four in a row. That's amazing. We could have made it five. Break the record from 2017, where we are in League 2, and we were dominating that league. But we didn't. And we need to go again now. We need to get on a winning run again. And it starts with Accrington on Saturday. Um, but there we go. So thank you very much guys for watching this match review. I'll give you my player ratings in the daily reports tomorrow. Uh, talk about Darren Moore's reaction to the to the game. There would have been another game tonight. Uh, Sunderland Blackpool I believe. That's been postponed because of the ongoing COVID situation with Sunderland. Um, so we were the only game in the in the uh, League One playing tonight. Obviously, there were Carabao Cup games. Brentford knocked out Newcastle one 0 I think uh, looking by that, it looks like it's five one to Man City uh, or four one. I can't really tell. And um, I've got AFTV at the side of me. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what the reaction is from Darren Moore. But piss poor second half, and we need to improve on that against Accrington on Saturday. So. Thank you very much, guys, for watching this match review. Stay positive, though, because we're still two points off the top of the league. Um, we still have another game to play in hand, uh, and we need to do this. Thank you very much, guys. My name is Aaron Chalner from Forever Overs, and that, my friends, is full time. Oh,